Let's do this. Don't want to keep the old man waiting. I was told Mr. Ackers was sending a woman. Change of plans. Last minute. Had to send me instead. And you are? Name's Simmons. Well, Simmons, I don't like change. If this were any other situation, any other trade-off, my instincts would be to walk the fuck out the door and scrap this deal. Relax. I'm just here to do business for Mr. Ackers. Have the cash? Yeah. Now, are we gonna do this? You know as well as I do that what you have in the case doesn't have that long of a shelf life. All right, let's get it done. Your instincts? You should trust them more often. That piece of shit has no case. Here we go. Get good help, I swear to God! Oh. I don't believe this shit! What the? that I can't feel my legs.
Call off your dog. She's okay. Tell him it's arrived. Paging Dr. Morris. Dr. Morris to reception, please. This heart will save your father's life, Mr. Ackers. He wouldn't survive the night without it. Look, don't worry. We'll keep you updated of your father's progress. My father's enemies, my enemies, want him dead. It's because of you that he'll live. Thank you. And there's the matter of my payment. Yes, of course. Uh, the amount we agreed upon? name is William Ackers. And you may not be aware of this, but you've helped me a great deal in the past. The heart that beats in my chest right now is there only because of you. What is it that you want? My son Trevor. He's a good boy. Yeah, I've met him. Great guy. He's in Hong Kong. He's fallen in with a crowd of, well, for lack of a better word, undesirables. And it's taking its toll on him. And me. I want him out of that influence and brought back to the family fold. Can't do it. Sorry. Why not? A lot of reasons. First is, I hate to fly. And last I heard, Hong Kong's not all that drivable. Look. You saved my life. Now I need you to save his. And I'll make it undeniably worth your while. I'm listening. Put your things in your room, then we can get started. Oh. Hey, Ruby. Ruby, come on. Don't worry about G. He'll come around. In the meantime, here's what I found out about this Akers guy. He's a heavy hitter in the import-export industry. He either owns or has connections in ports all over the world. Because of this, he's managed to have a stranglehold on the designer drug market in most of Europe and Asia. He has a son named Trevor. Yeah, I've met him. Well, when his father dies, he's next in line to inherit the family businesses, both the ports and the drugs. What's he doing in Hong Kong? Drumming up his drug business. Word is, he's been making a lot of noise over there. And he doesn't do it alone. He's got men, a lot of them. And they're not afraid to push their weight around to protect Trevor. It's not going to be easy to get him. Any idea where he is right now? No. Unless you're on the inside, that information's privileged. Then I guess I need to talk to someone on the inside. You need to talk to Rat Boy. Uh... 
Yeah? Have you arrived yet? I'm here. The place looks like it's ready to collapse. That's the way Ratboy likes it. It keeps people who shouldn't be there out. Right. I gotta go. Shooting targets back home. Fucking hell! What's it gonna take to kill you? <laughs> I'm not sure you have it in him. Ah! Come on, you're a fucking bitch! Who the fuck are you? I need some information. Yeah, well, I need a new hand, so fuck off! Where is Trevor Ackers? Danny Ma, fuck you! Let me rephrase my question. Where the fuck is Trevor Ackers? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let that pay off, Alright? Right? Only just need a parade round. He's needing a local matter. When? Uh, uh, you are too fucking late, bitch. Uh, great. Here it is, the amount we agreed upon. Here, here. We appear to have an uninvited guest. Damn it. Be at the parade grounds in 20 minutes. 20 minutes, I'll be there. Here we go. From home, ain't ya? Well, you couldn't get me off your mind. Your daddy's flashing the porch light. Time to go home. Fuck you, lady. Where are you taking to me? his daddy from London? London? Nice ride. This is for you and Z. Thanks for your help. Again.
Well, congratulations, you've done it. I hope he wasn't too much of a problem. He was a real gem. Now... Yes, our agreement. You really think it's going to be this easy, yeah? Yes, I do. You're a demented old turd. <coughs> Go ahead, you. You ain't got the guts, have you? Finish this. It's about time. Just you and me. This is better. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. The wet dream. Give me the game some. Auf Wiedersehen. Ruby? Ruby? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Milo? Boy, Christ. It's good to see your reflexes haven't suffered. How long have I been here? Almost a week. I was able to get you patched up, but you're uh, gonna hurt for a while. I'll deal with it. I need to find William Ackers. Ackers? Are you out of your mind? He's the one who dealt you all of this, eh? And you want my help? More or less. No, I, I won't help you get yourself killed, Ruby. I'm sorry, I can't do that. You owe me, Milo. Look, I, I think I more than covered my debt to you this past week. You may not remember it, but you're alive because of it. Just point me in the right direction. I'll do the rest. <sighs> right, look, there's a check. It goes by the name of Kafka Dvorak. I'll make a call. But that's all I can do. The call has been made. She's interested in meeting you. Where? The British Museum. Townsley Wing. She said she wanted to trade. What kind of trade? She didn't say. But if you want her help... You'll do what she wants. Beautiful. You're Dvorak. Please. Kafka. And your Ruby. Your reputation precedes you. I must admit I've done a little research. And I'm quite impressed with what I found. I'm glad you approve. I most certainly do. This, Ruby, is a 13th century treatise on the geographical architecture of London. This particular volume is the third of three. Is that why we're here? Because you love books? I love the written word. The written word is power. Books today mean nothing. Pulp and glue and mass-marketed machine-written pages. Nothing compared to what Okay, it I get it. What is it you want? I want this. I own its two companions. The third is being transported by plane to Rome tonight. Bring the text to me, and we'll speak more about Akers. Why is it always planes? Here we go.
Here's your fucking book. This is it. You've done it. And now you get what you came for, Ruby. Information on William Marcus. The cliff from the seaside appears to be unclimbable. And it is. Unless you know where to begin. You need to find a small opening to the west of the largest rock formation. This is the beginning. From there, you should be able to find your own way. You're the one who killed my son. My boy. Why did you do it? Answer me! Come on! Oh, what else of value can you take from me that you already haven't? Oh, look at you. You fucking bitch. You can't do it, can you? Eh? I can! <laughs> And I fell for it. I fucking fell for it. But you survived and they weren't expecting that. This is some bullshit. So, who set you up? I don't know. That's what I need to find out. Tell me what you know. Not much. Older guy. Has a lot of people working for him. Money to spare, I think. And he has two bodyguards. Some creepy chick who looks like she stepped out of some comic book. And some German cowboy who plays with swords. Rupert Pelham. Who? Rupert Pelham. He heads up the designer drug market in Asia. Keeps a lot of Hong Kong hamped up on something new called Dragon's Breath. Trust me, it's... it's brutal shit. And that's why he wanted Trevor Ackers. Yep. With Trevor Ackers out the way, the Ackers Syndicate won't be around for much longer. And I delivered him right to them. Sounds like it. Where do I find Pelham? I'd try Hong Kong. Back so soon. Hey, Z. Uh, sorry about him, Ruby. I, I, I don't know what's... Uh, never mind. Not your problem. Let's get to work. I did some digging. Found out a few things about Rupert Pelham. What do you have? Oh, uh, let's see. You already know about Dragon's Breath, and that Pelham runs the market over here. Right. Well, Pelham needed a way to distribute worldwide, so he formed a group called the Tiger Claw. He needed a way to get the drugs around the globe, so he enlisted Christopher Sorel, a shipping magnate. And once the drugs were into the ports, he needed a way to ensure they were handled the way he wanted. So he got Jun Li. With their combined global connections, Pelham can do what he needs to do. The Tiger Claw pretty much owns the east side of Hong Kong. Police, officials, everything. They do what they want, when they want. Nobody questions anything. And Jun Li has trained his own elite gang members. These guys, bad news. They don't mess around, Ruby. They're part of the reason the Tiger Claw is able to handle anyone not in their back pocket. Where do I find Pelham? Hmm. That's the one thing I don't know. But since Jun Li hasn't made his harbor visits a secret, the old ice factory in the Hong Kong harbor might be a good place to start. Ruby, be careful. These men are dangerous. Huh. So am I. See you around, Z. What happened? <coughs> Nothing. Look, we need to talk. Go ahead. Talk all you want. G, listen to me. Why is that bitch still alive? Take care of that fly on the wall. Whoever she is. Here we go. Where's your 
You have two choices. One, you don't tell me what I want to know, and I slice you into pieces while you watch and drop you bit by bit into the bay. Or two, you tell me what I want to know, and I end your life quickly and somewhat painlessly. Fuck! All right, all right! You don't stand a fucking chance anyway. He's heading to the old royal opera house. Z, are you hurt? They just, they just came and they just came and there was. It's okay. Settle down. Are you hurt? No, they just came. Are I... you hurt? No, I, I, I don't think so. Go, go on. I've been the... We need to get you out of here before more of these bastards just... show up. Give, give me a second. Z, there's no time. What did the mojo, Ruby? Why, why, why is this happening? Too late. Hello, Ruby. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you. Fascinate me, you know that? I'm fucking thrilled. <laughs> you, you come into my house, my home, my castle. You stir things up, and, and then you expect to just walk out. That fascinates me. You and your little monkey guns, and you're, you're, you're jumping up and bumping around. You've got a set of balls, and that's what fascinates me. I'm sorry, Ruby. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Never underestimate the power of feeling. Oh, did I wake you? Sorry about that. I've heard you've been causing us some trouble. Shame on you. Are you working for William Ackers? Is that it? Fuck you. I work for myself. What's your name? Christopher Sorrell. Why'd you ask? Because, Christopher Sorrell, when this is over, I'm gonna make you beg me for your life. <laughs> You've come to the wrong house asking for sugar, darling. Now my cupcake. I'm gonna find out why. Why are you here? Hmm? I'm a people person. Why are you here? Hey! You need a breath mint, you know that? Who else knows you're here? Your wife and she's jealous. You've got some explaining to do when you get home! I don't know who you are, darling, but I've lost interest. Finish her off and then do whatever you want to her. You son of a bitch, go fucking blow yourself! How do you want it, motherfucker? It's gonna be a long fucking night.
fuck are they? Oh, I got them! I got the illegal over! London! London! They're going to London! Yeah. Ruby, the hell, Chi? Ming. Listen to me. It was the tiger claw, Ruby. They took. They have Chi. I'll find him. He's a good kid, Ruby. You, you know that. I know. Oh. He's a dragon. Stop them, Ruby. Don't let them hurt you. I won't. I promise. You've gone mad. First it's Ackers, which was insane to begin with. Now it's Pelham and his mates. Mate, Jin Lee's oh, dead. Christ, even worse. Ruby, this isn't like the Dublin Marauders. These guys don't just go away. Can you help me or not? Do you know what you're asking? I'm asking for your help. I've given you the details. Do I have to give them to you again? No, you don't. Listen, I don't want to get you mixed up in this any more than I have to. Just tell me where I can find Pelham. And I'll do the rest. You realize, you attack one, you attack all. Oh, I'm counting on it. <laughs> of course you are. I need to start the boat. There's a cannery on the east side. Harbor area. It's where the Tiger Claw is setting up their temporary base. They can house a small army in there, from what I can remember. You want Sorrel? He should be here. What about Pelham? Dunno. Couldn't find anything out about Pelham. But word's gotten back about Jun Lee, and people are not happy about it. That it? Yeah, that's about it. Be careful. Where the hell is everybody? Get out here! Playtime's over! And now the hunter has become the hunted, eh? Well, what are you gonna do, huh? I can shove this down your throat. Oh, really? That sounds like fun. And then what? And then I pull real hard, and as it comes out, your stomach comes with it. Huh? And as you lay in shock, looking at your own stomach hanging huh? out of your mouth, you slowly bleed internally, and there's nothing you can do to save You're yourself. You're fucking mad! You're mad! No, I'm fucking pissed. And I want him. Ah! Where uh, is Pelham? Uh, uh, this pain is only going to get much, much worse. Ah! Oh, you fuck you! They're moving in on Akers tonight! That's all I know! I swear! I swear to you, that's all I know! You're a sad, sad little man. You know that? And I should pity you. Yes, yes, please! Pity! I should. Huh? But I won't. No, 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 no! no! It was you. Business is business, old man. No offense. But why, my boy? You don't do that! She's here. Damn it. All right, Ruby, come on out. I know it's me you're after. The least you can do is be forthcoming about it. Isn't that better? Mano a mano, tete a tete. Aw, oh, I thought we had something special. You're like a turd in a punch bowl, Ruby. You have to ruin everything that's nice and good and sweet. Take her now, but make it slow. I want her to feel everything that's happening to her. Here we go. Yo! 
Where are you, freak? You afraid to face me? Oh. I'm not finished with you. Come on! Don't be shy, bitch! Bummer. Sucks for you. You want me? Take me. You you want my money too? Here. Take it. Fuck you. No. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, close enough. I know it wasn't you. But still, you delivered him to his death. I had no idea. Ignorance is no excuse. But your actions here... Know this. We are not enemies. But we are not friends. Yeah, got it. 